Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a journey of transformation, a journey where we will explore the essence of one of our most precious resources, time. Imagine if you will, a bank that credits your account each morning with 86,400 seconds. Every night, it writes off as lost whatever time you have failed to invest wisely. It carries over no balance and allows no overdraft. Each day, a new account is open for you, and each night, it burns the remains of the day. If you fail to use the day's deposits, the loss is yours. There is no going back, no drawing against tomorrow. You must live in the present on today's deposits. Invest it so as to get from it the utmost in health, happiness, and success. The clock is running, make the most of today. Right now, time waits for no one. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift, and that is why it's called the present. This moment as we gather here is an invisible thread connecting the fabric of our lives and destinies. Each tick of the clock is a beat of our heart, a fleeting opportunity to make a mark, to live, not just exist. How often do we find ourselves saying, I just don't have the time? Yet, have we ever stopped to ponder, is it the lack of time, or is it our perception of it? Time, in its unyielding march, is impartial. It doesn't discriminate. Every one of us, regardless of our status, wealth, or wisdom, is allocated the same 24 hours a day. It's a great equalizer. The difference then lies in how we choose to use these hours. You see, time itself is not just a mere ticking of the clock. It's a canvas, and we are the artists. The strokes we paint, the colors we choose, reflecting our decisions, actions, and ultimately our life's masterpiece. Some create a vibrant, meaningful portrait rich with experiences and achievements. While others may leave the canvas bare, unfulfilled potential and opportunities not seized. Time is an essential realization. Time is not just about minutes and hours. It's about priorities, about making conscious choices. Every day, we are bombarded with demands, distractions, and decisions. The art of mastering time lies in our ability to discern, to separate the trivial many from the vital few. It's about focusing on what truly matters, aligning our actions with our deepest values and aspirations. We're not just talking about managing time, we're talking about managing ourselves. The essence of time management is self-management. It's a skill, an art, and a discipline that can be learned and mastered. It's about taking control, not letting the day-to-day -day urgencies overshadow our fundamental priorities. It's about creating a life that reflects our values and fulfills our dreams. In the words of a wise old tale, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. We must ask ourselves, where do we want our journey to take us? What are the goals and dreams that ignite our passion and drive our actions? The time to act is now, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. This very moment holds the key to transformation. Seize it, cherish it, and make every second count. As we progress, we'll delve deeper into understanding the true value of time recognizing our time-wasting habits, and most importantly, transforming these habits to make every moment of our life count. This is not just a lesson, it's a call to action, a call to awaken to the power of now, to embrace the gift of time, and to sculpt our destiny with the choices we make every single day. Begin this journey together with open hearts and minds, ready to learn, grow, and transform. Let's make every moment a step towards greatness. It's pivotal to deepen our understanding of time. Time, in its essence, is the most democratic of all resources. It is given equally to each of us, regardless of who we are or where we come from. Every morning, we are all credited with the same 86,400 seconds. What differentiates us is not the amount of time we have, but how we choose to spend it. Consider time as the currency of life. Just as with money, how we spend it will determine what we get out of life. Time spent is more than just hours passing, it's an investment in a future outcome. When we invest our time wisely, we reap the rewards of growth, achievement, and fulfillment. On the other hand, time spent carelessly yields little more than regret and missed opportunities. To truly understand time, we must recognize its relentless nature. Time moves forward unceasingly and without pause. Each moment that slips by is a moment that is gone forever, a reminder that our time on this earth is finite. This realization should not dismay us, rather, it should invigorate us. It should instill a sense of urgency and purpose in our actions. We are the authors of our own life story, and each second is a chance to write a line, paragraph, or chapter of greatness. Now, consider the concept of now. 
The present moment is the only time we truly own. The past, with its triumphs and failures, is behind us. The future, with its hopes and uncertainties, is yet to come. It's in the present that we have the power to act, to change, to make a difference. Every great achievement begins with the decision to act in the present moment. The power of now is not just a philosophical concept. It's the very essence of effective living. Yet many of us fall into the trap of thinking we have an endless supply of tomorrows. We postpone our dreams, delay our goals, and put off our desires under the illusion that there will always be more time. However, procrastination is the thief of time. It steals from us the opportunity to create, to contribute, and to complete. Every moment we put off what could be done now, we deny ourselves the opportunity to live fully. Understanding time also means recognizing its healing power. Time, by its very nature, brings perspective and clarity. It allows us to process our experiences, to learn from them, and to grow. With time, we gain wisdom, understanding, and insight. It's this gradual accumulation of knowledge and experience that shapes who we are and who we become. Life is essential to strike a balance. Time should not be our master, dictating our every move with unrelenting pressure, nor should we be its slave, constantly racing against its ticking clock. Instead, we should aim to harmonize with time, understanding its rhythms and seasons. There is a time for action and a time for reflection, a time for growth and a time for rest. By tuning into this rhythm, we can use our time effectively, ensuring that our life is not just a series of tasks but a rich tapestry of meaningful experiences. View every second as a precious gift, an opportunity to create, to learn, to love, and to live fully. Commit to using our time in ways that bring joy, fulfillment, and purpose to our lives and to the lives of those around us. We will explore how to harness the power of time, transforming it from a relentless foe into a faithful ally. We will learn to recognize and change the habits that waste our time and embrace practices that honor and maximize it. It's a journey that will challenge us, inspire us, and ultimately change us. So let us step forward with intention and purpose knowing that the way we use our time will shape our destiny. Let's make every moment count, for in these moments lies the essence of life itself. As we embrace the journey of using our time wisely, let's turn our focus to the consequences of wasting this invaluable asset. Wasting time, often seen as an innocuous habit, can subtly erode the very essence of our life's potential. It's like a slow leak in a tire, not immediately noticeable, but eventually leaving us stranded far from our desired destination. The first casualty of wasted time is opportunity. Life presents us with a myriad of opportunities, each with the potential to change the course of our lives dramatically. However, these opportunities are often time-bound, fleeting moments that must be seized when they present themselves. Every moment we waste is an opportunity missed, a chance for change that we might never encounter again. It's as if we're standing at a crossroads where every path leads to a different future, and indecision or procrastination causes us to remain static, watching potential paths fade into the horizon. Moreover, the habit of wasting time leads to a lack of accomplishment. Think of all the projects you wanted to start, the skills you wanted to learn, the books you wanted to read, and the dreams you've aspired to achieve. Each requires dedicated, focused time. When we squander our hours on trivial activities that don't align with our goals, we're not just standing still, we're moving away from these aspirations. The gap between where we are and where we want to be gets wider, not because our dreams are unreachable, but because we've diverted our most valuable resource, time, elsewhere. Another significant impact of wasting time is on our personal growth and development. Each of us is a work in progress, constantly evolving, learning, and growing. This growth, however, is not automatic. It requires time, effort, and consistent work. By wasting time on things that don't contribute to our growth, we stifle our potential. We miss out on becoming the best versions of ourselves. It's akin to having a field rich with fertile soil, yet never planting the seeds that could flourish into a bountiful harvest. Furthermore, wasting time can lead to increased stress and anxiety. Often, we put off tasks believing we'll have more time later. Yet, as deadlines approach and tasks pile up, we find ourselves overwhelmed, wishing we had started earlier. This procrastination creates a cycle of stress and guilt, impacting our mental well-being. And it's like seeing storm clouds gather in the distance and instead of seeking shelter, we ignore the warning signs until the storm is upon us, leaving us unprepared and vulnerable. 
Relationships too bear the brunt of our wasted time. Time spent with loved ones is essential for nurturing these bonds. Each moment we choose not to be present with those who matter most, we miss out on shared experiences and connections that give life its true meaning. Relationships, like plants, need the sunlight of attention and the water of shared time to grow and thrive. Neglect them, and they wither away in the drought of our inattention. The cumulative effect of wasted time also impacts our sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. At the end of each day, each year, and ultimately at the end of our lives, we reflect on what we've accomplished and how we've lived. Time wasted is often looked back upon with regret, opportunities not taken, relationships not nurtured, goals not pursued. It's in these reflective moments that we realize the cost of the time we let slip through our fingers. On this path of discovery, be mindful of the consequences of wasting time. Commit to valuing each moment, understanding that how we spend our time defines who we are and who we become. The journey ahead will challenge us to examine our habits, to make conscious choices about how we use our time, and to align our actions with our deepest values and aspirations. It's a journey that requires us to be intentional and mindful about the fleeting nature of time. The lessons time teaches us, using them as stepping stones towards a life of purpose, achievement, and fulfillment. Each moment is a gift, and it's our responsibility to use it wisely, crafting a life story that we can look back on with pride and contentment as we journey through life, forging our path towards fulfillment and success. It's crucial to pause and reflect on our habits, particularly those related to how we spend our time. Recognizing and addressing time-wasting habits is like clearing the weeds in a garden, it allows the beautiful, productive plants, our goals and aspirations, to flourish. Time-wasting habits often sneak into our lives subtly and gradually. They are the small, seemingly harmless choices we make daily, which when compounded over time, lead to significant losses. The first step in overcoming these habits is recognizing them, like a navigator who identifies obstacles in a sea voyage. We must identify these habits to chart a clear course towards our desired destination. One of the most pervasive time-wasting habits is procrastination. Procrastination is the thief of time, silently stealing moments that could have been invested in our growth and achievement. It's often rooted in fear, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, or even fear of success. Procrastination tricks us into thinking that later is better than now or that tomorrow is a better day to start. It lulls us into a false sense of security, only to leave us scrambling as deadlines approach and pressure mounts. Another common time waster is the failure to set priorities. Without clear priorities, everything seems urgent and important. We become reactive, not proactive. We find ourselves busy yet unproductive, like a ship that's moving but not heading towards any specific destination. We might be doing a lot, but achieving very little of what truly matters. Setting priorities requires us to ask tough questions about what is genuinely important in our lives and making conscious choices that align with our answers. Then there's the trap of perfectionism. While striving for excellence is commendable, obsessing over perfection can be paralyzing. Perfectionism can lead us to spend excessive time on tasks, tweaking and refining them endlessly. It prevents us from completing projects and moving on to other important tasks. It's like being caught in a whirlpool, constantly spinning but not moving forward. In our digital age, another significant time waster is the excessive consumption of media and technology. While technology has undoubtedly made our lives easier and more connected, it has also become a source of constant distraction. The endless stream of emails, social media notifications, and the lure of the internet can fragment our focus, leaving us with little to show for our time. It's akin to filling our days with noise, not music, not forgetting the habit of saying yes too often. While generosity and helpfulness are virtues, overcommitting ourselves can lead to a cluttered schedule leaving little time for what's truly important. It's essential to learn the art of saying no when necessary, to guard our time for the priorities that deserve our attention. A lack of rest and self-care also constitutes a time-wasting habit. It might seem counterintuitive, but failing to rest adequately reduces our productivity and effectiveness. Just as a well-maintained engine runs better, our minds and bodies need rest to function at their best. Neglecting Self-care is like trying to run a marathon without training, eventually, we run out of steam. It's vital to reflect on these habits and recognize their presence in our lives. It's about making conscious choices about deciding where our time goes, instead of wondering where it went. 
In the next phase of our journey, we will explore how to transform these time-wasting habits into time-valuing practices. We will learn how to make each moment count, turning our time into a tool for success and fulfillment. This journey is not just about identifying what we're doing wrong. It's about empowering ourselves to make better choices. It's about realizing that time is the canvas on which we can paint our masterpiece, and it's up to us to choose the colors and strokes that reflect our deepest aspirations and values. Begin this journey with an open heart and a willing spirit, ready to transform our relationship with time and, in doing so, transform our lives. The transformation of our relationship with time leads us into the realm of effective time management. This isn't merely about organizing our daily tasks. It's about aligning our deepest values and aspirations with how we utilize each moment. Effective time management is the bridge that connects our dreams to reality. Begin by understanding that time management is essentially life management. It's a reflection of how well we manage ourselves in the context of those 24 hours we are gifted each day. The art of time management is like gardening. We must constantly tend to it, weed out unproductive habits, and nurture the practices that bear the fruit of success. The first principle of effective time management is setting destination goals. Goals are like stars. They guide us through the night and provide direction. When you set goals, you create a vision for your life, defining what success looks like to you. It's not just about setting any goals, but goals that resonate with your values, challenge you, and excite you. These goals become your compass, keeping you focused and directed, ensuring that your time is spent on journeys that matter. Once goals are set, prioritization becomes key. It's about distinguishing the urgent from the important. Urgent tasks demand immediate attention, but they may not always align with our long-term objectives. Certain tasks, however, contribute to our long-term goals and aspirations. Prioritizing these tasks ensures that our actions are aligned with our vision. Another vital aspect of effective time management is planning. This involves breaking down our goals into actionable steps. Mapping out a path from where we are to where we want to be. Planning is like setting a course for a ship. It helps navigate through the waters of daily life, ensuring we stay on course towards our desired destination. Delegation is also a crucial element. It's recognizing that we don't have to do everything ourselves. By delegating tasks that others can perform, we free up our time to focus on activities that only we can do or that have the most significant impact on our goals. Time management is not complete without discussing the importance of saying no. It's understanding that our time is a finite resource, and every time we say yes to one thing, we are saying no to another. Saying no to distractions, to tasks that don't align with our goals, is as important as saying yes to the right opportunities. It's about setting boundaries and protecting our time from being eroded by the demands and expectations of others. Furthermore, effective time management involves reflection and adjustment. It's periodically reviewing our goals, plans, and actions, asking ourselves whether we are on the right path or if adjustments are needed. Reflection allows us to learn from our experiences, to grow, and to improve. It's a process of continual self-evaluation and adaptation. We must not forget the role of rest and rejuvenation in time management. It's a paradox, but sometimes the best way to manage our time effectively is to take a step back. Rest is not a waste of time, rather, it's an investment in our productivity. It's about recharging our batteries so we can operate at our best. It's recognizing that rest, relaxation, and play are not separate from our journey to success, they're integral parts of it. These principles of effective time management underscore that this journey is a personal one. What works for one may not work for another. It's about finding the balance and rhythm that suits our unique life situation. It's about crafting a relationship with time that is respectful, intentional, and purposeful. The transformation from wasting time to valuing it becomes our next crucial step. This transformation is not just about making better use of our time. It's about changing our very perception of time itself. It's about moving from seeing time as an endless stream to understanding it as a finite and precious resource. The first step in this transformation is awareness. We must become acutely aware of how we spend our time daily. This practice opens our eyes to the reality of our habits, revealing how much time we might be squandering on unproductive activities. Once we have this awareness, the next step is to set clear intentions for how we want to use our time. It's not enough to just avoid wasting time. 
We must have a purposeful plan for the time we have to set specific, measurable goals for each day, week, and month. Goals are the targets toward which we direct our time and effort. They are the beacons of light that guide our journey through the fog of daily distractions. With our goals set, we then need to develop a discipline of focus. In a world filled with distractions, the ability to focus on the task at hand is a superpower. It's about being present in the moment, fully engaged with what we are doing. When we focus, we pour our energy into our tasks, bringing higher quality and efficiency to our work. It's like sharpening our axe before chopping the tree. With a sharper blade, the work goes faster and with less effort. Another crucial element in this transformation is learning to prioritize. Not every task or activity deserves our time and attention. Prioritization is about identifying the tasks that are most critical to our goals and dedicating our best time and energy to them. It's about doing first things first, not just doing the next thing on the list. This means sometimes saying no to good opportunities to say yes to the best ones. Time management also involves streamlining and optimizing how we work. This can mean different things for different people. For some, it may involve batching similar tasks together to minimize context switching. For others, it might be automating routine tasks to free up time for more significant activities. It's about finding smarter ways to work, not just working harder. In the midst of transforming our habits, we must not forget the importance of flexibility and adaptability. Even the best plans encounter unexpected obstacles and changes. Flexibility allows us to adjust and adapt without becoming stressed or overwhelmed. It's about bending with the wind rather than breaking. This agility enables us to maintain our productivity even when the unexpected happens. Equally important in valuing our time is the practice of reflection and adjustment at regular intervals. Take the time to reflect on how you are using your time. Ask yourself if your current habits are moving you closer to your goal. Are there areas where you can improve? This reflection is not about self-criticism, it's about self-improvement. It's an opportunity to learn and grow. The transformation from wasting time to valuing time is not complete without embracing the importance of rest and rejuvenation. Rest is not wasted time. It's an essential component of productivity. It allows us to recharge and return to our tasks with renewed energy and focus. It's like allowing the land to lie fallow so that it can produce a better harvest in the next season. Transforming our habits is a journey, not a destination. It's a process of continual learning and growth. Every step we take towards valuing our time is a step towards a more intentional, fulfilling, and successful life. As we continue to navigate the waters of time management and personal growth, we come to a crucial juncture, leveraging time for success. This is where the true magic happens, where the disciplines and principles we've embraced begin to transform our lives, turning aspirations into achievements. Leveraging time for success starts with the understanding that time, much like a raw gem, holds potential value that can be unlocked for careful crafting. It's about seeing beyond the hours and minutes, recognizing that within each moment lies an opportunity for progress, learning, and growth. The key is to use our time in ways that not only move us forward, but also enrich and deepen the quality of our lives. Think of time as a resource to be invested rather than spent. Just as a wise investor seeks to get the greatest return on their investments, we should aim to get the most value out of every moment. This means choosing activities that align with our goals and values, Activities that bring us closer to our vision of success. It's about making deliberate choices, not leaving our days to chance or whim. The art of leveraging time also involves harnessing the power of small, consistent actions. Success is rarely the result of a few grand gestures. More often, it's the accumulation of small, daily efforts that build over time. It's the compound effect in action, the principle that small, seemingly insignificant steps can lead to significant results over time. Just as a river carves a canyon through the persistent flow of water, our small daily actions can carve a path to success. Another aspect of leveraging time is the mastery of self-discipline. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. It's about doing what needs to be done even when we don't feel like doing it. It's rising early to work on a project, turning down invitations that conflict with our priorities, and staying focused in the face of distractions. Discipline is the guardian of time, ensuring that we use it in service of our goals, not squander it on trivial pursuits. In leveraging time, we must also learn to embrace change and adaptability.
Success in any field requires the ability to pivot and adjust as circumstances evolve. It's about being flexible enough to seize unexpected opportunities and resilient enough to navigate challenges and setbacks. This adaptability is a crucial aspect of leveraging time effectively, as it allows us to make the most of every situation, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Moreover, leveraging time also means being proactive rather than reactive. It's about taking the initiative, creating opportunities rather than waiting for them to come to us. It's taking control of our time and, by extension, control of our lives. Proactivity is the hallmark of all successful people. They don't just write. It's time to pause and reflect on the path we've traveled. We began this journey with a simple yet profound realization. Time is the fabric of life, the non-renewable resource that once spent can never be regained. Our exploration has taken us through the realms of understanding time, recognizing time-wasting habits, learning effective time management, and finally implementing these strategies into our daily lives. Now, as we stand at this juncture, it's crucial to look back and gather the essence of what we've learned to carry it forward into the days ahead. The journey of time management is much like sailing across a vast ocean. We started with a map, our goals and aspirations. We learned how to navigate by prioritizing, focusing, and being disciplined. We understood the importance of maintaining our vessel through rest and self-care. And we realized that sometimes the winds of change require us to adjust our sails to remain flexible and adaptable. But above all, this journey has been about transformation. A transformation in how we view and use our time. It's about moving from a passive approach where time controls us to an active one where we control our time. It's about shifting from seeing time as a foe to embracing it as a friend and ally in our quest for a fulfilling life. Carry with us the lessons we've learned, that each day is a new canvas, a fresh opportunity to paint our lives with actions that reflect our deepest values and aspirations. Be mindful that the small choices we make each day, from how we spend our first hour in the morning to our last act at night, are what ultimately shape our destiny. The journey of time management is not a solitary one. We are all in this together, sailing in the same sea of time. Our interactions with others, how we spend our time with them, how we support and uplift each other. These two are integral parts of how we manage our time. Let's use our time to not only enrich our lives, but also to contribute positively to the lives of those around us. In conclusion, as we each continue on our individual paths, let us do so with a renewed sense of purpose and clarity. Let's be guardians of our time, knowing that each moment is precious. Approach each day with intention and gratitude, recognizing that the gift of time is the greatest gift of all. Carry this message in our hearts. Time is the essence of life, and how we use it defines who we are. Let's live each day to its fullest, creating a tapestry of moments that, when looked back upon, fills us with a sense of pride, accomplishment, and profound fulfillment. So, as we part ways on this journey, let's not say goodbye. Instead, let's say until we meet again, for in the grand tapestry of time, our paths may cross again enriched and inspired by the moments we have lived and the lives we have touched. Let's move forward with confidence, with joy, and with an unwavering commitment to making every moment of our lives a masterpiece of time well spent.